Hey, what's going on, everyone? So, back to another tier list. This one is going to be horror villains. Now, we've seen all of these characters at one point or another, some more iconic than others, some more complex than others, but they're all villains, they're all the bad guys to an extent in the end. So let's get uh, right into it. I'm just going to keep these tiers how they are. Obviously, goat being the best and trash being the worst and somewhere in the middle. <clears throat> so let's get to it. We have Chucky now. Chucky is complex in some ways because the first, I'd say, two movies, he's for the most part pretty serious. It's not till like the third movie where you start getting some one-liners in there and then you get to like Cult of Chucky where it's you know different types of them but still sort of the same personality. <clears throat> but overall I'd say Chucky's like he's good. I wouldn't put him at legendary status just because it's one of those things where people know who he is, but that's really it. <clears throat> they don't really delve too much into, you know, just the overall character of his. Leprechaun. Ooh. Leprechaun is very divisive in my opinion. He's very goofy and got the one-liners and stuff like that, but I'd say he's okay. I wouldn't put him in trash just because it seems a little too mean, but that's just me. <clears throat> uh, Ghostface, this one is a little hard to judge because it is... A different person or people in each movie and so they have their own sort of thing going on their own personality basically uh, if we're basing it strictly off of the first one I'd say legendary if we're going as a whole I you know I'll just put Ghostface at legendary just because I feel like he's in sort of like the Mount Rushmore, in my opinion, of horror icons. Uh, Jason Voorhees. Ooh. Goat. For sure. Highest body count of any one killer. Movies are goofy. There's a lot of them. That's why he's got such a high body count. He is... He's got the teleportation going on in some of the movies. But he's one of those characters where he is slow moving at times. And other times he feels like... Makes you feel like he's fast as shit. But yeah. Jason, one of the best ever. Pinhead. Pinhead is good. I wouldn't say he's legendary, but he's good. I like the kills that he does. And I feel like Pinhead, he's got that he's got that look where people see him and they know typically I, I'd say most people when they see Pinhead they say, you know, the guy from Hellraiser, or they just say Hellraiser, but they don't know him by his name, which is Pinhead. And so it's one of those things where, you know, it's very hit or miss for people. I do like the other Cenobites. Uh, Pinhead is obviously my favorite. My second favorite is the Chatterer. Great, great look. Very scary, the Chatterer. 
just overall good movies. I'd say Hellraiser, the the original Hellraiser is the best, and then the second one. After that, they kind of just, <clears throat> they're whatever. Uh, Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger is, um, uh, we'll put him at GOAT from the first movie. <clears throat> The first movie, he's goofy a little bit, but more serious. But then, like, the second one and so on, you know, he's just full-blown being himself, just being super goofy, uh, funny, got some great, great one-liners. And I just have to say, Dream Dream Warriors is probably one of the best Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, John Kramer, uh... He's okay. He, he's whatever. Uh, the Saw movies. I, I like John Kramer because he's very smart. And he's very particular about how he goes about setting up his traps. Uh, I feel like he's a bit of a perfectionist. He's a master at his craft. At what he does. Uh, he says that he doesn't. he's never killed a person well, you have, and so it's it's whatever. But John Kramer, a master in his particular um, genre of horror. Angela from Sleepaway Camp. Now, this is an interesting one. If we're going based off of these guys... All the people that she is up against, she's going in trash. And her being a killer, but you don't know till the end. It's sort of a Friday the 13th situation in the end of the movie. And then you find out that she's a hermaphrodite. So it's very, <clears throat> very obvious that she goes in trash. I do like Sleepaway Camp a lot. It's very, very, very underrated and cult classic horror movie. If you've never seen Sleepaway Camp, please watch it. It's a very, very good movie. All right, uh, Leatherface. Leatherface is a legend. I feel like most people know him in... The original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And, you know, after that, it's whatever, but he's one of the, he's one of the first, one of the very first slashers. I think you have, let me see, because Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out in 74. I think right before that was Black Christmas in, I believe, 72. 73 right around that time but he is the f one of the first of his kind when it comes to being sort of the lone uh all eyes on me main slasher character in a movie but mr michael myers he is the one that really project projected the slasher genre into what it is today. Halloween. I absolutely love the Halloween movies. Um, Season of the Witch, I just have to say, underrated. People hate it. I like that movie a lot. Michael's not in it, but... Michael Myers is one of those characters where... It's it's very scary because he does a lot of his stalking and sort of preying on the victims during the daytime. And that's a very horrifying thing. And not only during the daytime, but in broad in, in, in the openness of neighborhoods and in suburbia. And it just it's it's so creepy for him to do something like that and then just sort of disappear into the shadows 
like people have to uh, question if they saw what they really did or not. But yeah, Michael's, you know, all right. <clears throat> uh, three finger from Ron Turn. Now, <clears throat> I have to admit, it's been a very, very long time since I've seen a Ron Turn movie. Probably last time I honestly saw Ron Turn was probably well over a decade ago, if not longer. And so I really don't remember much about Three Finger. I actually had to look up to see what his name was because I had no idea. Uh, but Three Finger, I mean, being a hillbilly in Appalachia, uh, I'd say it's okay. Um, like I said with Angela, stacking him up against these guys is really hard to do. And so that's why I just got to put him there. Pennywise. Now, Pennywise is very interesting because he he is a physical entity in that he makes himself look like a clown, but he's something completely different. Now, Pennywise as a clown, I'd say he's good. And that's what we're going to go with just based off of... Because most, most people... When they see Pennywise, they know, you know, they think of the clown. So that's what we're going to roll with, even though it's a bit of a darker entity. And yeah, I mean, Pennywise, you know, he's he's funny. He's got some good one-liners throughout the original It series. I really like the... Uh, it chapter one and chapter two that recently came out in the past five years, five, ten years, something like that. But I I, I don't know. It, it's hard for me to say if I like Tim Curry or if I like Bill Skarsgård better as Pennywise. Uh, I'd say the look has to go to Tim Curry, but the overall like sort of re- uh, reintroduction of Pennywise has to go to Bill Skarsgård, but overall, he's a pretty good character. <clears throat> uh, Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. Uh, personally, I'll put him at good. I really like his character in the movie. Um, he's taken a lot of inspiration off of like Leatherface and uh sort of uh sort of the mindset of like let's say maybe ghostface or a little bit of pinhead so he's sort of drawing some or pulling some strings from other legend you know other big characters but i really like that you just you know right off the bat that this dude is something's not right with him from that opening scene up until the very end. Like, you know this dude is a psycho. And I like that they showed that. But yeah. Uh, so what do you guys think of my list? Comment down below. Tell me if you agree and where you would put some of these. And I want to pose a question to you. If you have seen Sleepaway Camp, please tell me where you would put Angela. Because her being on the trash alone, I feel like I justified it enough. But if you think she needs to be higher, please comment down below. Let me know why you think Angela should be higher on this list. If you guys did enjoy this video and you like these tier lists, please tell me, like the video, and if you really enjoy these types of videos, consider subscribing. It's free and you can unsubscribe at any time that you want. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.